Hey guys, it's Alyssa, and today I'm going to be telling you why we have mental blocks for tumbling and for anything cheer related. A little backstory I got the idea to do this video because of something that happened to me two days ago. Sorry if I sound like nasally too, I'm starting to get over sickness. I'm still kind of sick though. But a few days ago, I decided to throw some tumbling and you know, the one thing that you know you always have for sure, which is my back handspring. I know I haven't tumbled in around six months, but it never crossed my mind that my back handspring would leave me. I never in a million years thought that I would lose my back handspring. It's like it's not going anywhere, muscle memory is still there. As the months went on, like three months, four months, five months, six months without tumbling, I never once thought, oh I can't do it. Like I always knew, oh yeah, I'm gonna have my back handspring forever because I'm always just confident enough to just throw it because there's easy to just just like walking, just like riding a bike. That has always been my mindset with my back handspring. It's not going anywhere, that's just the way it is. And I've always just been confident enough to throw it. No matter how many months it's been, there's no problems. I can always just throw a back handspring. But something happened within the past month. I knew I had cheer tryouts coming up, and I always told myself, oh, I should probably, you know, like uh, go to the gym or like go to the park and throw my tumbling just to, you know, warm it up a little bit just before tryouts. And then I would always try to think of a really good day to go to the park and do that. And because I kept thinking about it, and because I kept anticipating it, slowly it started to become something that I was thinking about so much, like, oh, I'm gonna do it this time. Then I never found time to do it, and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it this time. I have to throw my tumbling at the park at some point. And the fact that it kept repeating in my brain like, oh, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Like, it put almost like pressure on myself. Like, on accident, like I didn't mean to put pressure on myself because it's a back handspring, like it's just tumbling, why would there be pressure? And it's like riding a bike for me, why would there be pressure? It just kind of formed just because my brain like recognize that I kept like anticipating that I'm gonna do this it kind of like I guess freaked me out a little bit here's another big thing never ever am I scared to tumble however there was this thing in my brain that kept saying like you know it's kind of funny that you're not scared to tumble because most people would be if they haven't tumbled in six months and the fact that that was kind of there like talking like oh it's strange that you're not scared like it's crazy how you're like, oh, muscle memory's cool, I can just do it any time. And, oh, I'm super confident even though I haven't tumbled in six months. Just the fact that that voice was there saying like, oh, wow, that's really good. Most people are like this. It kind of made me like, yeah, that is good. And then I kept thinking about it and thinking about it. And I'm like, it's weird that so many people would be scared to throw tumbling after like, like months or like a year of like not doing it. And then slowly it started trickling in my brain, like, what if things go wrong? What if, like, I don't have it? Had I not thought that, then I would not have had the problem that I faced two days ago. Then I started to get really anxious for the day that I throw tumbling. And then two days ago, I stood in my backyard and I noticed I was nervous. And I was like, this is so bad. Why am I nervous? Why am I nervous to throw something that I've had for years and to do things that I know for a fact that I can do? I'm always 100% confident on it, no matter where it is. I can throw it on like cement. I can literally do a billion jillion in a row. Like no matter what, I was scared for some reason. And just the fact that I was scared, scared me. Just the idea of being scared of tumbling freaked me out because I'm like, why is this happening? This is not normal. Like this is abnormal. And I was literally thinking I was having like a near death experience. Imagine getting a mental block on like walking. That's kind of like, kind of how it felt. Like something that you've been so confident for. It's like the back of your hand. Like you, it's no big deal at all. So then I stood there and I was about to throw it 
and I was so scared. And I went for it because I'm not afraid to go for things. Like, even if things are holding me back, nothing can actually hold me back. So, of course, I threw it anyways. Even though I know the technique, it's muscle memory, I know how to do it, everything that went wrong, because I didn't land it correctly, was in my brain. It's not that I didn't know how to do it, I definitely know how to do it. My muscles remember how to do it. It was all in my head. It was all in my head. And I know that for a fact. Only the first one I didn't land. Afterwards, I just kind of tried to calm myself down. I tried to tell myself positive things. I acted like I was my own coach. I was telling myself what to correct and what to think. Take a deep breath. And all the ones after that I landed, but they were like that scared landed. Where, yeah, everything was all in my head. Everything was in my head. It had nothing to do with my body. My body knows what it's doing. I was just tripping myself out. And I had a mental block. And mental blocks happen all because you somehow psych yourself out and all of a sudden you don't believe in yourself. I was always so confident. And now I am because I threw them and I told myself that I'm acting crazy. Mental blocks happen when we are not confident in ourselves for some strange reason. Or when we suddenly don't believe in ourselves anymore. Our head psychs ourselves out and says, you can't do this or even just can you do this? But you have to tell yourself, I can do this. I can. Don't let your head fool you. It's, it happens. I never would have experienced this if I didn't think about it. A lot of the times mental blocks happen when we think about it way too much. We think about it because we're scared, but if you just eliminate the fear and eliminate being scared, and if you just trust that you know how to do it, you have went through the proper training, you've done it before, then there's no reason to be scared. And when you're not scared, then you don't overthink. Overthinking is what leads to mental blocks. And I now know that for a fact because of what happened. And I was able to kind of snap myself out of it because I ended up throwing, tumbling, and landing it. But that was just such a scary experience for me. Something that really helped me was that I turned on some cheer music. I turned on a song that reminded me of cheer and that pushes me really hard. One of those songs that just like get you going, get you in the cheer mood and make you feel like you can do anything. By the way, if you want to know, that song was called Fire and Gold by B. Miller. It just reminds me of cheer for some reason, but that song just like makes me feel like I'm an invincible cheerleader. So I turned it on to like get my confidence going and get myself motivated. Like who am I to think? that I can't do this. You have to tell yourself, you're like, who am I to think that I can't throw that tuck or throw that full or do a cartwheel even? So I turned it on, I got myself in the cheer mood, call me crazy, but this is just how I do things. I started maybe like doing some cheer facials, I did some cheer moves, I acted like I was on a competition floor. I just wanted to do things that felt natural to me to do tumbling because I was kind of like warming up the muscle memory, you know? I did some moves that I would do in a competition before I threw a standing back handspring. So then my body would routinely do the back handspring after I did the first moves that was in my routine that was leading up to the back handspring. And that helped me a lot because those were like some of the best ones that I threw. And it's weird, you know it's strange because it's not any other tumbling skill I have. It was just standing back handspring. Just because I kept thinking about it. Like, any other tumbling, I was totally fine with. But getting a mental block on a standing back handspring was really scary because it was so random. And it's one of the most basic tumbling skills you can have. So that just scared me. But listen to me when I tell you this. If your coach believes in you, if your tumbling teacher believes in you, if your teammates believe in you, and especially if you believe in yourself, then 100% you can do it. And I'm always so encouraged to believe in myself when people around me believe in me. I've said this a million times on my channel, but in All Star Cheer, I had a cheer coach that always pushed me way past my limits. 
Honestly, I'm so thankful for him because he taught me so much about cheer and about life in general and about motivation and determination and reaching your goals. He's the one who made me how I am with being able to throw something if somebody tells me that I can do it. And that's a great mindset to have because obviously if my coach is believing in me and telling me I can throw that tuck, the only thing stopping me is myself. Because if my coach knows I can do it, then I can do it. Because trust me, people around you would not tell you that you can do something if you can't. The only thing stopping you is all in your head. And that just comes from overthinking it and getting like a bad thought in your brain and all of a sudden you start to think, what if things go wrong? What if I don't do this? Maybe I can't do it. But that's just not the way to think. If you just change it around and tell yourself, I can do this, they're right, I'm right, my body's right. Your body is telling you that you can, but it's just your mind telling you that you can't. Because with mental blocks, if you don't know exactly what that is, um, it's when you basically have a skill or you've had a skill for a while, you can do it, you're capable of doing it, but your mind is just like blocking it, like, no, no, I can't. You get scared. To overcome a mental block, find your motivation within yourself. Remind yourself of who you are and who you were when you were throwing those tumbling skills. If you could do it then, why can't you do it now? Don't let your mind stop you because you can have power over that. Tell yourself that you can do it and nothing can stop you. And also, never give up. If you have a mental block, that doesn't mean stop. It never means stop. Always keep going, keep fighting, never give up. Keep going in the tumbling gym, never stop trying. As long as you're trying and seeing what you can do differently each time you try to throw it, then that's the best thing you can honestly do. Because I know whenever I'm struggling with a skill, I always try to be my own coach in my head. I tell myself, I need to get my legs together, I need to set up higher, I need to pull my legs tighter, and then I take it in, throw the pass, and then see how it goes. And then I think of what I need to correct for next time, and always just try to do better next time. Every single time you throw something or you practice something, you should be striving for progression, because progression is key. Alright, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.